Hello ladies and gentlemen, Beaky here with TheOnTileGameShow.com, back once again with some more tech news for you guys today. And what I'm going to be talking about today is, well, hacker security, and especially security that involves the modern day and our cell phones. We all have one of these. We all have a cell phone. We all either have a password lock, as you guys can see on my cell phone right there with my little link drawing that I did, or you might have yourself a fingerprint lock where you put on the iPhone, you put your fingerprint right here. We all might listen to people that give it good advice on security tips like Steve Gibson right here from Twit. I love his shows. He gives a lot of great advice for security. But even with all the security advice we've taken, all the security things we follow, there's always going to be that hacker, that group, those people who are one step ahead of us. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. The hacker name, uh, Jan Kessler right here. That's his name, dude. He had a little video up on YouTube, went up just today, has about 2,000 views. Go check out this video too, zero um, subscribers, I mean nine subscribers on this channel. There is other versions of this in English and other languages in the description if you need to watch this video. What he did was quite amazing. I, I will respect it right here. It's not the first time I've heard of anything like this, but what he did over in Germany, well, he took the photos of the German defense minister from about three meters away, took photos of that, used a commercially available program to take that photo, get the fingerprint, scan it into the computer, and then get it the iPhone to actually recognize that photo as the defense minister's fingerprint to unlock the phone. Yeah. So even though we think something like, well, you know, fingerprints, how, how what can be more secure than fingerprints? Well, it really is not that secure when you come to think about it, guys. Fingerprints can be copied off of surfaces. But now it's the end. You could even do it with a picture. And that's even what makes it this even crazier than it already is. A picture? A picture. I didn't even know about that. I always figured like, okay, somebody got your fingerprint from it, like touching the phone. They could like, you know, take it from that, use it for the touch ID. But I never knew about the picture thing. And this is just a really good read. There's a full story over at Yahoo. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the description to the story in Yahoo. I'll put a look, full link in the description to the video. It's really interesting. I love reading and following up on things like this. But it really does show with all the security breaches over the last year from bank scanning hacked, I mean, the Edward Snowden stuff over the last few years, and I mean, Sony Pictures, man, look at that, guys. No matter how secure you are personally with your device, and no matter how secure a company is with their services, there's always going to be somebody trying to get around this stuff. And I'm not blaming this guy for doing anything bad, I just kind of like the fact that he put this out there. I was like hearing this stuff from hackers when they actually explain how they do this stuff and how they put it out there, and ways around it. He said the best way around this is wear gloves, which is kind of funny. That's a really funny solution, but yeah, technically you can wear gloves. <laughs> And another really interesting part about the story later on, they said he's going to try to use um, iris data from pictures to actually get people's iris data from public pictures. So you put your pictures up on Flickr. I have my YouTube video right now. You guys got my iris. Like, I mean, I, I don't know how clear this is right now because I have my a slight green screen. I didn't put the full green screen on right now. This is just a slight green screen to make it just a little clear background. But, um... If you guys were good enough and for some reason needed my iris to scan into something, but I ain't no president, I ain't nobody important, so my iris to you is not that much security data, but it is still biometric data. Maybe today I'm nobody important and I don't think my, my biometric data is important, but maybe 30, 50 years from now when everything is um, scanned into your phones by your eye or something like that, I might be like, oh no, all those YouTube videos I have online has my biometric data for my iris and probably how many times have you guys seen my fingerprints from these videos think about all that stuff somebody willing and dedicated enough could look through all my youtube videos find the perfect angles on all my fingers and like yes i got his fingerprints i don't know but anyways beaky here with the untitledgameshow.com i just really wanted to bring this stuff to you guys it doesn't matter how secure we think our phones is we lose phones all the time i'll just go into a quick little story I've lost my phones only two times in my life. I've lost my phones once when I was working at a carnival. Yes, I worked at a carnival. Um, it was a traveling carnival. Every um, weekend we moved from carnival spot to carnival spot and we had to climb up on roller coasters and different things and take down the rides, put up the games, and I did all that. Oh, it was so much fun. We did all that and one night over the summer, I left my cell phone right at the booth at the very closing. And just a split second, just a split second I put down my phone Turned away to talk to somebody, looked back, like, where's my phone? It was gone. Now, luckily, at the time, this was uh, um, the flip phone type of days. 
this is basically where I had this, I think it was called a sliver or something. Anyway, it was a phone that split, um, it swiveled up. This is when people were making all type of crazy phones to do different things, but there was no, like, smartphones back then. Only other time I lost my phone was with my friend Jim. I left my cell phone in his car. Um, over the night, in front of his house where he has security cameras, people saw the phone in the car, broke into the window, stole my cell phone. This was the first smartphone I ever had, but back then, this was the early days of Android, so it wasn't a very complicated phone, and I didn't have much information in that phone that they could steal. Now, I think the people who stole the phone back then were kids because they were trying to answer the phone. They never turned off the phone. They didn't sell the phone because I, I called the phone a few times, and they answered the phone a few times just didn't say anything. So I just think they, they didn't know what to do with the damn phone. And it was for like one of those cheap um, phones from like uh, one of those cheap carriers. So they weren't going to be selling it back for like $600 or anything like that. It was a very cheap phone. It probably cost you like $80 to have with that phone. So even if they sold it back used, they probably wouldn't get $40. Hours. So it sucks. But here I am in, what, 2015, and I've upgraded a little bit. I got up. This is my first. This is my first ever expensive phone. I, I usually don't buy expensive phones. This is my first phone, but when I went to the store, they said, you know, I could get it for basically a good price. So I was like, okay, I'll just get this phone. So I was like, all right, I'll upgrade just for the heck of it. And it was a Sony phone. So I said, okay, does this work with the PlayStation? They said, yes, it does. So I was like, whatever, I'll get this phone. Now, this phone has become basically a computer for me. And I'm pretty sure a lot of your guys' phones have become that for you as well. And I might not be putting my bank details in here, but I'm pretty sure some of you guys are. Some of you guys probably keep your whole life in your cell phone. And isn't it quite interesting to think that if you have an iPhone right now, thinking that your Touch ID is the most secure thing, nobody could ever take it. If somebody was really willing to take it from you, they can't. And that's something you've always got to think about with security, guys. And I just wanted to let you guys know about this story because I thought it was really interesting. Biggie here with the UntileGameshow.com. I'll be back with a lot more stories about a lot of different topics like I always do. And, of course, I make six videos a day usually, two to six normally. So, make sure you guys know that I upload a lot. A lot. Just letting you know now. Peace out, guys, and thank you for watching. Until next time.